curtsy lunges are a great lunge for working on a lot of hip stability um, and also seeing how mobile you are. So uh, if you're pretty tight in your hips, especially that IT band, you might struggle with this one a little bit. We're going to work towards um, good form. If you don't have that right away, that is okay. I'll show you a couple things you can do. So a curtsy lunge. I have one foot goes forward. Make sure that your knee stays in line with that toe. I'm going to take my other leg. I'm going to reach back behind me and off to the side. Okay, but my hips stay forward. Okay, so that's going to be a really key thing here. Hips stay forward. I'm not letting myself twist and rotate uh, this way. So from here, I'm making sure that my hips go back. My knee is staying over my ankle. I'm not drifting forward up onto my toes. I'm not letting that heel come up off the floor. I'm coming down nice and low. Shoulders stay up. Hips drop down towards the floor. I'm coming all the way back up. So you can see from the front here, everything stays forward. I'm reaching that leg back. Weight is on my heel. Shoulders stay up. Knee comes right outside of my ankle. Okay, so it's nice and close here. Now this is where some of you guys might struggle with this. Okay? If that is too tight in that IT band, you can't get that low. You find yourself drifting forward. Okay, Take a little bit wider step back behind you. And more like a little bit more of a normal lunge, but still off to the sides. So you should still feel that in that IT band a little bit. Okay? And get as low as you can and get that knee as close as you can to that ankle. And then over time, working on getting that knee right outside of that ankle, keeping those shoulders up nice and tall and keeping that movement nice and controlled.